Hey guys, so I was finishing up the idea feature, so including the edit idea as well as the new idea and creating actions accordingly, um, which, oh, I even had the upvote. So the crud stuff we went over with, um, but I reached a point in this tutorial series where everything I say is going to be redundant. Uh, such as the upvotes, uh, we're just going to add more actions and then reduces for said action as well as effects listening to uh, do, 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 where's the upvotes? Uh, so we we have effects listening to the appropriate action and then have a or dispatch a action accordingly. Here I use update since we're using the same functionality so there's no real reason to rewrite the same reducer. And and then it looks a little bit like this. So we have upvotes and downvotes. And we have creates here, which will make a new idea. And we also have update, which is the blue plus button here, which will do the same. Um, doo -doo -doo. And there's still stuff that needs to be done. For example, comments. Right now it's just the comment. There's no created date and there's no author, which would be nice. But I had a comment form, so when we get to that point, it would be there. And then, of course, users. Uh, the user list is pretty static. The idea and bookmarks buttons don't actually show the ideas accordingly. So this app is far from done, but this tutorial series is technically done. So I'm going to conclude it here uh, because every step needed to create the necessary features has already been outlined in the series. And you just have to put it together, uh, more or less. And I have the my GitHub repo, so you can feel free to fork and create pull requests to do so. And then another reason for this conclusion is that if I'm going to be completely honest, I'm a little burnt out from this project and I want to do something new and different. I'm definitely tired of, of writing Angular in my free time since I, I work in Angular at work. So I definitely want to go back to React. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the series uh, for what it is so far, and uh, hopefully I'll get back to to some of it. I, I know that the WebSocket integration is something that a lot of you are interested in, and I want to get to that, and it would be nice to get back into the back end for me. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys in the next video.